Hello, I'm Nikki Case, and this is this. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the? F Hello, I'm Nikki Case, and this is this week's developer vlog. Okay, so the first thing you notice is that uh, Poppy's animation is a bit um rougher, uh, and also she changes her facial expression. Uh, so this is really important because um, you know, whenever she wants to, uh, whenever she reacts to something, uh, previously her facial expression was just always the same, just either scared or pissed off or just like completely bored. Um, so now that she can actually change her fresh facial expression, uh, that's gonna really help, you know, make her feel more alive. Uh, right now she only just changes her face whenever she changes direction, which is... You know, whatever, it's, again, as you can tell, everything is kind of crappy right now. But that's because I just changed the code. It's a matter of uh, fixing up the arts now. Also, um, the other thing is that her face is separate from her body, which is separate from her legs. Which means, uh, since her body is separate from the rest of her, well, since her torso is separate from the rest of her body, uh, she can, like, you know, carry up custom arts, like this one over here, this little monolith over there. Um, and also, like, uh, I'm thinking maybe in a future Nothing to Hide sections, you could change what clothes she wears, or, like, change her hairstyle, or something like that. Yeah, that'd be pretty interesting. And, uh, the other thing to notice is, um, this grayscale effect. So, one, Poppy's custom animation, that's, uh, so the three things I've been up to this week. Uh, one, Poppy's custom animation. Two, this grayscale of, uh, custom art. And three, the blocks, which you'll be seeing down there later. Um, but yes, uh, so previously, uh, well, the revamped engine didn't even have grayscale, so that sucks. Um, well, previously. And now it does, so that's good. Um, but even, like, back in the original Nothing to Hide demo, uh, I had to create the grayscaled arts, like, manually. I had to manually, like, change the colors and everything, which, you know, doubled the art assets and took a lot of time. Uh, but now it automatically creates great scale versions of the art, uh, even for like custom animations like these love monoliths which are only in this level and not part of the core pack of game assets. And also uh, by having grayscale, now you can see this poor little bugger cry. Aww, so sad. And so one, Poppy's new animations, two, the uh, grayscale art, and three, these blocks uh, which previously were just placeholdery random color blocks. But now they're like, you know, actual art, so that's that's good. And uh, like the like like the uh, monoliths, um, they also have a uh, grayscale, so that's great. Now let's just uh, plop this over here. It's like yeah, grayscale, grayscale, green. Oh wait, no, I can't live without my bot friend. Activate self-termination sequence. I am a bastard, a cruel, cruel bastard. Green. Gray. Green, gray, green, gray, green, gray, green, gray, green, gray. Okay, so, uh, yeah, the other thing is... <coughs> this. Yeah. Everything I just mentioned is easily modifiable. Uh, yeah, modability is, uh, kind of the core recurring theme of the new Nothing to Hide revamped engine. So, yeah, uh, her body, Poppy's body, is completely separate from her facial expressions and her really crappy walking animation which is why you know if you wanted to edit her uh you could easily edit her to have a clown afro as she depicted here uh and yeah real real classy nikki uh anyway the point is yeah custom art is also easily modifiable and the grayscale is automatically created so that's great and uh yeah so that's those are the three things i've been working on this week and i also showed off that they're easily modifiable so let's just end this right here that's true i am such a cruel bastard and yep yeah, so ladies and gentlemen and everyone who does not identify as part of the gender binary thank you for listening in and that's it for this week v